Hello my dear students, hope you have understood the previous videos. So let us go to the next video that is motion under gravity. So here the motion under gravity is about the situations where the objects fall towards the earth and the, uh, they are thrown away from the earth. Okay, upward direction and downward direction. So how the G varies on the earth. Okay. So here that is motion under gravity. When the body is dropped from a height, it falls vertically downwards with an acceleration of uh, towards the earth G equal to 9.8 meter per second square. And when the body is thrown vertically upward, G is taken as negative. So, when it is moving against the gravity, we take it as negative. That is 9.8 meter per second square minus 9.8 meter per second square. And when the body is thrown towards the earth, it is taken as positive. 9.8 meter per second square. Numerically also, what you have to take is, when if a numerical uh, says that if the body is uh, made to drop from a height, vertically downward then you have to take g as plus 9.8 meter per second square and if a body is thrown upward in upward direction then you have to take it as minus 9.8 meter per second square this you have to remember then so let us see how the g varies on earth where it is maximum and where it is least so, G is greatest at the poles, that is North Pole and South Pole, it is greatest, 9.83 meter per second square and least at the equator, 9.8 and generally how much we take is 9, uh, 9.8. So, G commonly we are taking as 9.8 meter per second square, okay, or sometimes in numericals it is given 10 meter per second square so this we can write so g generally we can take it as 9.8 and also it is taken as 9 uh, 10 meter per second square yes my dear students let us see now distance traveled during the nth second of the motion so now let us consider a body move uh, starting from an initial velocity u and moving along a straight line with uniform acceleration a. So now we will consider a body which is has started moving with an initial velocity u along a straight line and with a uniform acceleration a. So let s1 and s2 be the distance travelled by the body. Distance travelled by the body okay in n seconds. And n minus one seconds in n seconds and n minus 1 second respectively. So, if Sn is taken as a distance travelled in n, nth second, then Sn is equal to, that is Sn is the distance travelled in nth second then we have sn equal to s1 minus s2 and we can take this as un plus 1 and by 2 n a n square 
into bracket minus s2 we have to take u into n minus 1 plus half into a half into a n minus 1 whole square okay by number of by expanding this we can get so here it will be un plus half a n square so minus we will multiply everything here so we have un minus u sorry minus into minus plus u plus half into so this is a as it is so i'll write it directly half a n square plus a n minus half a okay so here minus u n plus u n gets cancelled and half a n uh, half of and here it is also minus so minus half a n square minus ha plus half a n square gets cancelled so what we have is u plus a n minus half a is left out <laughs> Okay, so here we can take it as Sn equal to u plus a by 2 we can take it as common. So remaining is n minus 1. So this is the equation for the distance for the uh, for nth second. Distance travelled by the body in nth second. So this is our derivation. I will give a complete look of the derivation. You can see here. So this is the derivation for the distance travelled by the body during the nth second of the motion. Hope you have understood this. So let us move on to the relative velocity. The last topic of this chapter that is relative velocity. Welcome back friends. My dear students. So now let us see the relative velocity. Relative velocity means the velocity of an object with respect to other body. So suppose there is a body A and another body is B. Suppose A is a body and it has a velocity VA and another vel uh, body is B. It has a velocity B. Okay, VB. So the relative velocity is given by the equation uh, v r equal to v a minus v b. Okay, this is the equation for the relative velocity. Now, let us uh, see one example here. If two trains are moving on two straight and parallel tracks with the same speed and in the same direction, the trains are in motion with respect to the ground for an observer in one train. The other train does not appear to be moving at all. So, if the two trains are moving in the same direction with unequal velocities, the relative velocity of one train with respect to the observer in the other train is smaller. Its velocity with respect to the ground. If the two trains are moving in opposite direction, then the velocity of one train with respect to the observer in the other train is greater than the velocity with respect to the ground. So that means there is a variation in the velocity when the trains are in the same direction if they are moving in the same direction and if they are moving in the opposite direction what will be the velocity that we are going to see okay. So now if they are in the same 
direction if the two trains are in the same direction for same direction the relative velocity is vr equal to va plus minus vb because they are in the same direction and if they are in the opposite direction then vr equal to vb no, sorry va minus of minus vb so minus into minus plus so vr equal to va plus vb so this is the equation of relative velocity if the to if the bodies are in the opposite direction you can see this one relative velocity relative velocity of one object with respect to another object let we consider va and vb as the velocities of the two bodies and relative velocity is given by the equation va minus vb for same direction we have the general formula only because they are in the same direction and if they are moving in the opposite direction okay then what is the equation v r equal to v a minus into minus v b that is v r equal to v a plus v b so this is the equation for the relative velocity uh, with in the opposite direction hope you have followed the equation for relative velocity the distance traveled in the nth uh, motion uh, nth uh, distance of the body then also you have seen the uh, acceleration due to gravity of different regions at different uh, what will be at the poles and at the equator and also if it is uh, if a body is thrown up in upward direction vertically upwards then what we will take and if it is moving towards the earth what we are going to take so bye bye from for now let us meet in the next class hi friends dekhiye time hua hai 10 o'clock aur abhi hum apna bistar dalenge abhi mera class chal raha tha dekhiye mere aur ek channel mein main class le rahi thi to wo bhi aap please subscribe kijiye aur agar aapke bacche 11th aur 12th mein hain subscribe kijiye mere channel ko that is let's learn physics तो यहाँ हम दोनों तो यहाँ मेरी बेटी कुछ बोल रही है मुझसे